What's up, kitchen crew? Kate here from Cook with Kate, and we are back today with another episode. We're talking all about one of my favorite pieces of kitchen equipment, which actually is an apron. The one brand that I have used throughout most of my culinary career, the brand is Search and Rescue Denim from our amazing friend Will down in Vancouver. Granville Island is the location of his shop. So excited to show you how the apron style has changed over the years, how the quality has gotten even better than it was at the start. And we're gonna talk a little bit about our history with search and rescue denim as well, because I think that's important. Okay, let's get into it. So we originally met our friends Will and Jill in 2015, when my husband and I were part of the opening crew in Big Rock. One way that we were able to support search and rescue denim from the beginning is we outfitted our entire kitchen crew for the brew pub in Search and Rescue Denim Apron. Search and Rescue Denim is a Canadian-based family business. They make a consistently high-end quality product. I will attest to that. You will see some of our aprons back here. This pile is a bunch of these are from 2015. So you'll see the wear and tear that they can take and they still last over the years. I also can say that they have amazing service behind the scenes. If you ever have troubles with anything, Search and Rescue Denim is easy to get a hold of and they will make sure that you're happy at the end of the day. A couple other things that I really respect behind the brand is they do have free exchanges and returns attached to any of their products. And one of my favorite things is they offer free repairs for their lifetime of your apron. So all you have to do is send it over to Will and they will get that fixed up and sent back to you if anything goes wrong. For example, a rivet may be coming off or fixing up some of the stitching for the straps or pockets, etc. I honestly can say that after wearing a search and rescue denim apron, it feels like a suit of armor. I have much less fear actually working in the kitchen because I feel safe while doing everything. Once again, just like the chef knife video, an apron should be an investment. It's a special piece of equipment that keeps you safe. Maybe not everyone takes cooking as seriously as chefs do, but I think an apron is still an important piece to have in the home kitchen as well. Now we're gonna get into the serious part of what exactly we should be looking for when we go out to buy our very own apron to don in the kitchen. I'm gonna try a couple of these pieces on and I'll let you guys know some of my favorite features of the SNR aprons. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with the latest one that I have received. This is the bleach proof canvas that they offer. And it's so nice and lightweight. I've really been enjoying it, using it throughout the summer. I felt like I didn't get overheated or anything like that in it. And I mostly did cook outside this summer. So that's saying something for a prairie summertime. <laughs> I think the most important thing we can go over when we're choosing an apron for ourselves is how does it feel when you put it on? Is it should be comfortable. If you're gonna be wearing something for many hours at a time in the kitchen, you can't be uncomfortable while wearing it. And now that I have worn an apron for many years, it feels weird when I'm not wearing one in the kitchen. One of my favorite strap styles is the cross back strap for the reason that it doesn't weigh on your neck. As you're wearing it for hours at a time, I always find that the neck strap, after a couple hours, it kind of starts to get sore back there and feel a little bit heavy. You do not get that with the cross back straps. And I did kind of up the ante this time and go for the beautiful black leather with silver hardware. So this is how you put on your cross back strap apron. You can see we have a couple different pocket and towel loop options on here. We got the one towel loop right here. I will be honest, I don't really use it while working at home. I always kind of have my towel in front of me instead. We have this pocket right here, which is really nice and big. And this one up here, really nice and dainty, as well as the pen holder. Come around this back side. We have this sneaky, which is also my favorite. SNR pocket. Sorry that 
got some wear and tear on it, but this is usually where I keep my lavalier mic transmitter, my bobby pack while I'm doing my live stream on Twitch. I don't feel it in there at all. It's so comfortable and it's honestly just the perfect size for that. So one thing I want to quickly talk about is the amazing brand personalization that they offer at SNR is they have their own piece of embroidery equipment so you're able to easily tailor and get them to add your brand logo onto your suit of armor. I want to just quickly show one of SNR's other popular canvas option which is this tan and it looks really really nice if you pair it with the brown leather straps. I also got this one cross back and you can see it's got some wear and tear on it. It's got some love on there. That's where I used to put my body pack transmitter. I usually like to bring this one out when it starts to cool off because the canvas is a little bit more heavyweight compared to the lightweight bleach proof canvas. So it keeps me a little bit more cozy come winter time when we're cooking. I want to quickly change into this just so you can see the difference between the two canvases. Let's go. Now that we've compared a couple of different canvas options and also talked about the different straps that they have available, I'm gonna do a little montage of the aprons over the years. So I decided to line up couple of the different apron styles throughout the years of supporting search and rescue denim and their aprons for chefs. We can see starting at the beginning here is the couple different styles and colors of canvas that were used and I specially picked those out actually. Very similar pocket styles for the first couple years and then we can clearly see on this tan canvas where they started to maybe make a couple of pattern changes with the feedback that they got from us and a couple other chefs, I'm sure, as well as adding in the little SNR logo up top, which I totally love, and offering the leather crossback straps. Coming to the newest one here, is you can really see how they have allowed us to completely personalize our own apron is these pockets I don't really use if I'm being honest while I'm cooking. I like to work just in a very basic apron that keeps me safe. So this is really more for decoration than anything. And then I also decided to keep on this purple one because you can see how simple they really made this style with just the two front pockets there simple pocket with the embroidery that's it i think that's why this one is my favorite because it's just so simple let's also take a peek at the back here you can clearly see distinguishable difference of the straps the wear and tear that will happen over time with the leather strap i think they have switched since this though because these are a lot more durable so i think they changed the thickness as well with these being washed before is it made it disintegrate a lot quicker too. And then we can also see that over time how they changed the back strap from a tie back where you can easily adjust for different sizes of people. Let's say if it's not always the same person wearing the apron to something more personalized with being able to adjust the straps with loops and then securing it on the back this way. It's a lot more simple of a design and then we don't have these straps hanging around everywhere because that can be a bit dangerous. So to wrap things up, some of the main key points that we want to look for when choosing our very own apron. I would 100% suggest to support search and rescue denim. I have never had 
bad experience with them. May I also say that this video is not sponsored by any way from Search and Rescue Denim. This is just simply showing my love of the brand and spreading awareness of it too. So key things to look for when picking up our own apron is first, we want it to be comfortable. That is determined by the size of the apron, specifically length and determining where you want it to kind of sit by your knees or if you're like me, I like mine just sitting above the knee. I find that I have a bit easier movement that way when running around a busy kitchen. And then I never mentioned this too much earlier just because we're mostly talking about chef's aprons today, but you can get the SNR aprons in different fabrics, not just canvas. They do a vinyl, which is quite popular for tattoo artists and they also do a full leather which I know some barbers or hairstylists have also picked up for themselves as well you can just fully customize with any fabric that you want if you talk to Will directly as always if this video was helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet please hit that subscribe button as we are still working our way slowly but surely towards the thousand subscriber mark so thank you so much to everyone for all of the support i hope this inspired you i'm gonna leave a link in the description down below you get 15 percent off of the search and rescue denim aprons use your code cookwithkate at checkout to pick one up for yourself until next time bye